rate of change and constant of proportionality. So we're going to start with this word problem. A giant tortoise moves at a slow but steady pace. It takes the giant tortoise three seconds to travel 10.5 or 10.5 inches. Fill in the table to find out how many inches the turtle travels per second. Okay, so let's use the information we have. Most of this table is not filled in, but right here, at the time of three seconds, um, this turtle has gone 10.5 inches, and that's the distance. So I'm going to create um, a, a rate here, and then we can find the unit rate as we go in. So we'll put our distance on top. We know distance on top, this turtle has gone 10.5 inches and time on the bottom. Um, he's done that in three seconds. So, what we first want to do is we'll just take this back to solving for the unit rate. How far can this turtle go, or will it go in one second? In three seconds it goes ten and a half uh, inches. How far will it go in one second? And so remember solving for unit rate, you can do a couple things. You can try to find a relationship between the denominators, which we do have. Three can turn into one by dividing by three. Or you can always, if you can't find a relationship, always just divide the numerator by the denominator. So what is 10.5 divided by 3? So I'm actually going to do that real quick. I'm going to get us some space. Um, 10.5 divided by 3. And I'm going to try to write it just a little nicer. Apologize. 10.5 divided by 3. I'll bring this decimal up. Uh, 3 does not go into 1, it goes into 10 3 times. Uh, 3 times 3 is 9. When you subtract, bring this over, um, you get 10 minus 9 is 1. You bring down the 5, it's 15. 3 goes into 15 5 times, and it's even. 3 times 5 is 15, cancels out. Sorry, the unit rate is going to be for every uh, 1 second, um, when we solve for over here, every 1 second, this turtle is going to go 3.5 inches. So at one second, this turtle is going 3.5 inches. And uh, pen's really not working that well. And then we can fill in the rest of the table at two seconds. Well, if one is, let me go back, if it's 3.5 inches in one second, in two seconds, we would just multiply by two. And that would get us 7.0. In 4 seconds, we would just multiply by 4. And that would get us 14. And then in 5 seconds, we just multiply 3.5 times 5. And I'll do that for you real quick. But just decimal multiplication. 5 times 5 is 25. I did move the decimal over. Carry the 2. 15, 16, 17. Bring it back. It would be 17.5. So I basically used the unit rate to continue and fill out this table here. So there's some vocabulary we're going to encounter, and then we're going to talk about writing an equation real quick. First off, vocabulary, uh, proportion. What is a proportion? Well, we just talked about them. It's a statement that two rates or ratios are equivalent. We have some proportions right here. These are all proportions. 1 to 3.5 is a proportion to 2 and 70. It's almost like um, equivalent fractions. So uh, 2 over or over seven or two two seconds and um, seven inches can simplify down to one uh, second with 3.5 inches. So those are proportional. Um, secondly, a rate of change. So is there a rate of change? It's a, it's a rate that describes how one quantity changes in relation to another quantity. There's not always a rate of change, but sometimes there is. Sometimes you don't have a proportion that is equivalent and then you have a change, a rate of change, and so one quantity is changing um, in how it relates to another one. Uh, finally, there is there a constant rate of change, and we'll talk some about this, um, but this is when a, a relationship in which the rate of change is constant or it's consistent, it happens again and again, or the ratio of, I had to fix that, one quantity to the other is co constant, sorry. so. If you find that the, the, the proportion seems to be changing, it's not proportional, but it seems to be constant in how it's changing, it's a constant rate of change. And you'll see more of that when we work with this. Um, so I want to take us back to this, and I want to talk about writing an equation. So we knew that basically we came up with a unit rate. We had our distance here, and we had our time here, and we said that it was 3.5 to 1. Well, we can write 
an equation to represent the proportional relationship in this table. We always write it in this format. It's always in a y equals kx. Now, the y and the x are going to equal your two, uh, your two basically your, what your table has here. Your y is going to equal your bottom part and your x will equal this right over here. Now, the k, kind of interestingly enough, stands for your constant. Uh, and it's not constant with a K, it's constant with a C, but they use a K to represent that. And that is what is happening every time. That is the thing that's going to change. So as I come back and I write this, and make sure you have that written down, because this is the format you're going to write the equation in. So the constant is this. What are we multiplying by each time, or dividing by, you could divide, to go from the X to the Y? Well, it's 3.5, it's right there. So we would write this as the y equals 3.5x. So any time we multiply this times 3.5, we're going to get 3.5. We multiply 2 times 3.5, we're going to get 7. We multiply 3 times 3.5, and we have a, a proportional relationship that is constant here. Okay, so let's talk about this one. Let's look at this word problem. Based on the information in the table, is the relationship between time and the number of words typed a proportional relationship? So you'll see questions like these to see if, it's, if the proportion is consistent. So all you want to do is you want to look at your X and your Y, as I put right here, and see if it's proportional. I know we start with a 1 to 45 unit rate. Okay, well, does that continue? Is 2 to 90 also proportional? I believe it is, because I know 2 times uh, 45, or 45 times 2 is 90, so it checks out there, it checks out there. What about 3? Okay, I'm multiplying by 3, so 1 times 3, what is 45 times 3? 45 times 3 is 135, it continues. 45 times 3, 15, carry the 1, I get 12, 13. It is in fact 135, so I know it checks out there. And the last one to check is 180, it is 45 times 4, let me get my pen back, equal 180. Uh, well, let's see, 45 times 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Carry the 2, I get 16, 17, 18, and it is. So the answer to this one, just a quick little example, is yes, this is a proportional relationship. Um, yes, this is, you know, I don't like the way I'm writing that. Come back and make some space. But you can write that in your paper as, yes, this is a proportional relationship. And when we do, we can write the formula. And the formula is y equals... 45x, because we're multiplying by 45 each time. All right, so as we solved that, and we had y equals 45x, and our y equals kx, you can also graph what we have. So you can put it on a graph. You can have your x at the bottom here. I'll put that in green. You can have your y coming up the y-axis here, and you can actually graph this and see if you actually have a uh, proportional relationship. So um, if you graph this, you remember your x is going to be up here, would be our time, and our y would be our number of words in this case. So when we graph this, we can have 1 and 45, we'd have 2 and 90, 3 and 135, and 4 and 180. If we graph this, um, we can actually see visually if it's a proportional relationship. Here's how we can tell. A relationship is proportional when two things. Uh, first, one, or A, the points form, it would be nice if I typed that correctly, it should say form, a straight line. And then secondly, the line goes through origin, or zero. Now again, I'll fix that to form. I'll fix that neatly to form, apologize. Um, so... We'll see here, I plotted the dots in, and I'll try to get this as straight as I can, but I put it 1 at 1 and 45, 2 at 90, 3 and 135, and 4 and 180. Okay, now I would just go through 
and graph these things and I don't have a ruler but I'll go through as neatly as I can and you normally would want to use a ruler and when you do this you'll see that yes it goes through origin you get through zero and yes it's a straight line so yes this is a proportional relationship and we already knew that when we solved it mathematically but you can also see a proportional relationship on a graph by seeing a straight line that goes through origin or zero all right, constant rate of change. Final thing right here, just real quick. You'll probably get this. You could even work ahead of me. But uh, we're going to answer this question just to make sure that we understand constant rate of change and proportions. The table shows the distance Allison drove on one day of her vacation. Is this relationship between the distance and the time a proportional relationship? Is it seem to be constant? Did she drive at a constant speed? Oh, okay, well, we can try it and see. Just like the last one, we have a unit rate, it looks like 1 to 65 on the time and the distance here. Okay, well, does it continue? All right, I see this one. Actually, let me line things up a little nicer. 1 to 65 here. But I see it seems to change because 2 and 120 actually simplifies down to a 1 over 60 relationship. Oh, okay, all right, 3 over 195 might be kind of different too. You can always figure this out by just dividing it out. You got 195 divided by 3. 3 goes in 6 times there, it would be 18. 1, 5 is going to go in 5 times, is 15. So it's going to be 65 here. So we're back to a 1 and 65 relationship there. It's going to change back, I think, here with 4 and 220. How many times does 4 go into 220? Put it right here. 220 divided by 4 goes in 5 times to get 20. And we're going to get uh, a different relationship here of 55. So what you can do right here, and I'll, you can even stop short, is this a constant speed that she drove up? Is it proportional? And the answer is, it is not. No, this is not. You can write this on your paper. I'm not going to write it out for you. But this is not a proportional relationship because we're not following, um, your relationship is not proportional each time. And she was changing up her speeds as she went in hours. So sometimes you'll have it work out like this and you just want to do the division to figure out if your relationship is proportional. In this case, if she was driving at a constant speed.